Doctor Who is a great show about a time and space traveling alien called the Doctor, which has aired on the BBC with a few starts and stops since 1963. The Doctor has the ability to regenerate into a new body every few years instead of dying. This allows the show to change actors every few years and is what has kept it going for so long. Is that a different face or is he a different person? How should I know? We will only be looking at the 2005 revival series, since I haven't really watched any classic Who, though I understand there are some cool dressing scenes there too. In addition to initial wardrobe decisions after each regeneration, the Doctor's clothing changes subtly or not so subtly throughout each run, between the more drastic and noticeable changes. Patterns and colors change in waistcoats, ties, and bow ties, and sometimes we don't even really see those changes unless we're looking for them. But every time the Doctor regenerates, the personality changes as well as likes and dislikes and forms of expression. Therefore, the wardrobe needs to change accordingly. Those are the changes we'll be looking at in this video. The ninth Doctor shows up in that plastic mannequin warehouse, fully formed in his sleek leather jacket. Run. We don't see any of his decision process, but we can see he's pulling off that I'm cool but I don't care look that sets him up as kind of a loner. Run for your life! The leather jacket can symbolize the way he keeps everyone at arm's length, and his sweater underneath, the fact that when you get to know him a little, you find that inside, he's warm and fuzzy after all. Just this once, everybody lives! The tenth doctor, after spending some time running around in striped pajamas, Did you miss me? Finally makes his way back into the TARDIS's wardrobe, stands in front of the mirror, and tries things on. This is the one and only time in the whole modern series that we actually see the TARDIS's wardrobe, though we get quite a few references to it throughout the run of the show. Plenty of clothes in the wardrobe. There's a wardrobe through there. First left, second right, third on the left, go straight ahead, under the stairs, past the bins. Somewhere in the lower substrata there's a wardrobe hall. I think it's the first right after the karaoke buses. First door on the left, second right, under the stairs, past the bins, fifth door on the left. What's there? The wardrobe. And the wardrobe is amazing. There are garments there from the Doctor's past lives, and from all of time and space. Ruffs, leopard prints, military braid. He chooses a brown pinstriped suit and a long tan overcoat. Quite proper and British looking and good for running in. Well, at least it looks good while he's running, floppy behind him. Not really sure how he never steps on that hem. It kind of looks like a superhero's cape, symbolizing his objective of saving the universe. His trainers likewise help him run down corridors to champion the unprotected. <laughs> Stand as this world's champion! Thank you. I've no idea who I am, but you've just summed me up. The Tenth Doctor's clothing comes from within the TARDIS, symbolizing his obsession with what happened to the Time Lords and Gallifrey, the place the TARDIS came from. Oh, you should have seen it, that old planet. The second sun would rise in the south and the mountains would shine. The Eleventh Doctor. I'm saving the world. I need a decent shirt. After deciding to no longer be dressed as the Raggedy Man. The hell with the Raggedy. Time to put on a show. Tries on other people's clothes in a 21st century hospital staff locker room. People who will probably come back later looking for their clothes. Those clothes belong to people, you know. He does this while walking to the roof on the way to save our world from aliens known as the Atraxi. This symbolizes his prerequisite for being hyper and completely mad while saving everyone. Or, as he puts it, a madman in a box. I am definitely a madman with a box. He gathers a variety of shirts, ties, and jackets and tries them on. He confronts the Atraxi with three ties hanging around his neck, symbolizing being still undecided about who he is. He girds himself with suspenders and then asks the Atraxi his opinion of his ties. What do you think? While the Atraxi is occupied reviewing its footage of this threat, the Doctor comes to his decision and emerges in his jacket. Hello, I'm the Doctor. Sporting his iconic bow tie. Bow ties are cool. 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 The eleventh Doctor has this whole fez thing going on. Fezzes are cool. He's known as the one with the fez. So much so that typically when people cosplay as the eleventh Doctor, they wear a bow tie and a fez. But he didn't really wear a fez all that many times. He just talks about it a lot. It's a fez, I wear a fez now. He first wore one he stole from a museum at the end of season 5. The fez was murdered in the same episode. Apparently there was a reason for that. A fez? You're kidding me. You're gonna put Matt in a fez. If we put Matt in a fez, Matt will never take the fez off. He will want to wear the fez for the whole of the next series. It will be glued to his head. He'll be wearing it with his own clothes. It will be a nightmare. And he said, no, no, because I've got a cunning plan. As soon as he's got the fez, 
I'm gonna kill the fairs. They didn't want the actor to insist on wearing it all the time. Because apparently he's that kind of guy. Matt Smith is awesome. So basically, he only wore a fez in one episode, The Big Bang. But the whole fez thing totally blew up, so he gets a fez a few more times, mostly in episodes that are trying to refer to and perpetuate the image of the doctor as the guy with the fez. Someday, you could just walk past a fez. Never gonna. Like Christmas episodes or the 50th anniversary special. Other than that, he just talks about it a lot. I can buy a fez. Yeah, and where's my fez? Coffee, 12 jammy dodgers, and a fez. The 11th Doctor went through a few minor or temporary costume changes after that. But the next really significant change comes in The Bells of St. John, when the Doctor, after spending some time as a monk in the year 1207, decides to go doctoring again. Don't be a monk! Monks are not cool! And to celebrate this momentous occasion, gets dressed. He puts on a new and slightly longer than the old one extremely British coat, considers a fez, and ceremoniously takes out, of course, an extremely cool bow tie, and gives us a twirl. Sensible clothes! In fact, a whole thesis could be written about the sensibleness of the doctor's clothes. He often dresses as an Englishman from around the first half of the 20th century. All the tweed! This reads to us as an old man. What did you say? Even though the doctor is actually much older than that. Hello everyone. I'm the doctor. The twelfth doctor robs us of a dressing scene. Since he shows up to Clara after running around London in pajamas, he seems to do that a lot at the beginning of a regeneration, already fully dressed in his magician's getup. What do you think? The black coat is lined with dark red satin over a white button-down shirt. I was hoping for minimalism, but I think I came out with magician. The magician's look can symbolize the doctor's expectation to magically make the world into a better place, and thus be a good man. My good man. The 13th Doctor You really need to get out of those clothes. buys her clothing in a woman's clothing store in the 21st century. It's been a long time since I bought women's clothes. Her colorful stripes symbolize the childlike wonder with which she sees the world. Or maybe they celebrate her becoming a woman for the first time. All rainbows and trousers that don't reach. Her loose pants are very practical. The suspenders remind us of the 11th Doctors. Her earring with the clasped hands and stars shows us her desire to make friends while she travels the stars. My fam, they still don't quite work. Team Tavis? The long grey coat has pockets, as not all women's clothing does. Got any cash? Empty pockets. The length of the coat harkens back to the 10th Doctors, wafting after her and accentuating her running abilities on her way to protect the universe. I'm the Doctor. Ring any bells? I think we can summarize that everything the Doctors wear expresses their objective of saving the universe. Because that's what they do best. They're the Doctor. I'm the Doctor. I'm a Time Lord. I'm from the planet Gallifrey, the constellation of Casterberus. All this is, of course, only my opinion. I could go on and on and never actually get to everything there is to talk about in Doctor Who costume-wise. Take off your clothes. There are all the companions' clothes. Love the t-shirt. Aliens from different planets. Period dress in some episodes. In between doctors. And the doctor. And of course, accessories the doctor picks up along the way. Like 3D glasses, sonic sunglasses, electric guitars, etc. But maybe I'll come back to that eventually and to make another Doctor Who video. Let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notifications about future videos. You can find me on Patreon, Instagram, and my blog. Have a wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey day. Goodbye!